The views and opinions expressed by the Real Teachers of Atlanta LLC are those of the podcasters and do not necessarily reflect the official policy, position, ideologies, or standards of any school district in any county in the United States. Any content provided by our podcasters, guests, and callers are of their opinion and are not intended to malign any religion, ethnic group, club, organization, company, institutions affiliated with the local government, individuals, or anyone or anything. The podcast and all affiliated with the Real Teachers of Atlanta LLC are used for entertainment purposes only. So our teacher read it. There were some complaints about students. Well, a teacher was leaving, trying to leave school at the end of the day. They were trying to sneak out. So that's what happened. The teacher was trying to sneak out. And some students fell through the ceiling naked. Because they would have been having sex in the ceiling time. And Wait, what? <laughs> let's talk. Let, let's, let's get into it. So, okay. so apparently, what about students and they having relations encounters of the explicit of the explicit because type. it happens. It does. Middle school a is, lot more well, than oh, you, you know. Oh yes. So the, so in this Reddit feed, mm. I kept reading because you know I like teacher Reddit because teacher Reddit is lit. Okay, yes. they they spill all the tea behind those. Blank usernames, okay? Right. So, I, you know, I'm there for the messy. I like the messy. I live for that in my life. Mm -hmm. So, I'm reading. This lady started talking about how the middle school has gotten caught in the bathroom, how she's caught same-sex couples having sex <laughs> from a both, not, of both sexes. Not the pronoun. How she, the pronoun, yeah, the pronoun, both pronouns having sex with the same pronoun in their, in their, in their respective <laughs> toiletry areas. But one teacher said, and I, all, I will paraphrase, she loosely stated, basically, I don't know if it's she or he, but this person loosely stated, do you understand how nasty these bathrooms are for mm -hmm. you to really be having your body parts exposed and doing a do in these bathrooms? Your kids will eat off the floor. They do not care. They just... Why are Whenever these kids so charged? In, listen, I was not like that as a child. I was at private school in the amount of BJs <gasps> that no. was happening in the sanctuary. <laughs> are you for real? In the sanctuary. What? In the what? sanctuary? No. Yo, oh, I went to Catholic school. Called? I would have never. What? Yeah, what? God called. You said we. What? No, well, hold on. Oh, okay. No, I'm no, just saying. That kind of was just started. Yeah. No. Well, you said we. That I have Not you, never someone else. such a thing. No, but we have had some oh, students. Okay, so when you were that, teaching. So. Right. Okay. In the private school, they got caught. What? No having. Freaking way. Sex, but definitely, you know, I don't know, like the BJs or a big, you know, a big, it's a big thing, big yeah. thing yeah. amongst um, special middle school kids. But these were yeah. high school kids at the time. Uh, they got okay. caught. Oh. Um doing the BJs in the sanctuary. So I have, so when I was in high school. I didn't even know what a BJ was. Like my daughter. Really? Was, right. Okay, 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 yeah. My daughter was in middle school and she came home. She was, you know, we were talking yeah. about, you know, because she was going mm -hmm. to middle school mm -hmm. and she was like, well, a lot of, you know, the girls or what have you, they're doing the BJs. And I'm like, what? what, is, what is, I know what it is. But what is a BJ? I think you know what? I think she, she had to go on social media. I can't remember. It she it made a camera from somewhere, but she did say something <laughs> about disturbing. I know my husband called me these days, but it, oh. it may have came from it's, I mean it's been it's, used for forever. I mean I I knew what that was. <laughs> I had no idea. I knew what it was yeah, growing up. <laughs> this is the first time I've ever heard this. So when I was in when I was in high school, one of our teachers called oh, a I'm girl. Sorry. I remember she oh. called it. They called it top. Yes. Oh, right, right, right. Okay, yeah. Yeah, she was Top. Because that was universal whether you were top. straight or not. Top? top yeah. Because you are being a, like, you can be a top or a bottom. I don't know, man. Oh, I'm so confused. I don't know. No, I get it. First of all, let me say, it's side, so much side much note. Going on. Wait a minute. Side note, parents. You know what your kids are texting about? You know what they're oh, emojis that's what we mean? To, that's that's what we need to be talking about. about. I actually just brought this up because I thought it was funny when I saw it. But, yeah. wait, but here we are. I guess so that's where are some said. of the um, girl uh, text, I guess, <laughs> cues <laughs> that would insinuate I'm gonna put. I'm going to put some, I'll put some in, in, the, the, description. in the description so you can have your breakdown. The younger kids. So. Yeah. My kids, first of all, I, I will say two things. One, 
have a good relationship with your with your kids so that they feel safe and free to talk yes. to you about whatever. Because my kids, we have what we call safe conversations, especially with my daughter, where I say, hey, you can say it how you feel. Mm -hmm. That means cussing, whatever, however it comes. But I will say, as a parent, you make you swallow a lot of pride. Yes. It's it oh my goodness. Too, it can get very but you uncomfortable. Are like, <laughs> yes. I learned a lot <laughs> from my daughter. Like, a lot of stuff I wasn't ready for. Yeah. I think mm -hmm. her senior year mm -hmm. um, probably was high school in general. Yes, oh my gosh. But that me. senior year was like, okay. Because I was that parent to check phone. Yeah. Mm. And then I, it got to a point, like, I was, not that my daughter was, you know, doing stuff, but, mm. it, you know, she had friends and they have conversations. Yeah. And kids, they get in these chats. It's just only right. one person. Mm -hmm. about 10 people in the chat. And then Google, those Google Docs. Wait, those Google Chats? <laughs> Yep. The, the you know one that the Google Docs? Yes. Yeah, one of my old students is, is on a team that I see all the time. One of my students, one of my old students, I see them a lot. And I, I bring up often how they had the uh, dating service in the Google Docs. Do you remember that? Yes. When I had the hundred and something pages of printed out documents they thought they was hiding. I said, do you know that your the, teacher uh, has an IT degree? Who you had in this world? It, it, it was a lot of, um, you know, the, the beast. <laughs> I'll beat you, B. Yeah. Oh, they oh, yeah. Oh, they're trying to type in the white font <laughs> on the documents like so I'm slow. See it. Huh? What it look like? But well, just, that was more at night, not last night. But yeah. just, go, just going back as a parent, pay attention yes. to. I know it gets uncomfortable, yes. and we, you know, <laughs> I'm giving my child, kids don't have privacy. That's your dog. They're not they're paying bills. Right. You know, yes. not, not really. So, mm -hmm. look in there. Um, yeah. You know, we just talked about um, safety in schools and mass shooting. That's one of the things that, you know, we're asking that um, parents do. Check your child's phone because there may be some information in there that's needed. Yeah. Uh, along mm -hmm. with other stuff that you might not be ready for. But mm -hmm. just have an open mind because you never you know. Never know. You never know never what's going to be in that phone. <laughs> yep. Trust me. But, you know, I'm the one out of the group that doesn't have children. Mm -hmm. But you but have students. I have students. That's what I'm about and to they touch tell on. Stuff, and yes, they do. <laughs> they they don't tell have me no too much. Yeah. Like, they tell you stuff that they can't tell their parents. Yeah, but I'm your teacher. Yes. But that's a good thing. I, I will tell you though, sure. that there, it, it, it is on some side. So they need somebody to talk to. Somebody needs to know. And it's a, it's gr to you from from me to you. Mm -hmm. I would say that that tells what that tells you is mm -hmm. that they feel so connected to, to you, right? That they feel safe enough to tell you what's going on and what they're really doing truthfully. That's and some because nobody else knows what they're telling you. Because right. they're not going to tell everybody that they told the teacher. Yeah, that's true. A lot of times I have to report it, but you know, I mean, but you and it does help them in the end, mm -hmm. you know. But if they're just, I want to be warned before you. Force the phone into my face. Yeah, let me show you this. This car, this car, look. This is exactly. I thought it fell off. Look what I did. Go, but yes, I yeah. had my experiences. I know you, Jesus. Don't worry about it. Okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. I don't want to see it. You don't have to share everything. I'm gonna show you anyway. But that just goes to show you, like Rose was saying, like how, you know, strong of a relationship. Some stuff yeah. to yourself. Uh -uh. You don't have to show me everything. Mm -hmm. But they're very comfortable. They but are. um <laughs> but it's a lot of things that, you know, that's embar you know, I don't know, I would be embarrassed to get that phone call as a parent to learn that my child has did something sexual in school. Like yes. I don't even know as a student, like how are you that brave? They don't care. To, and they're impulsive. And yes. they're meeting up. They're sending they're scheduling the scheduling it. That's what I'm talking about. Schedule. I wouldn't mind it being scheduled hmm? as an adult, but I'm not. <laughs> oh, my bad. Oh. That's just me. Oh, don't, don't worry just, about it. Don't worry about it. Worry about the kids. My bad. I forgot. Okay. But the kids know. <laughs> oh, my goodness. It's getting hot in here. Is it just me? Next. Wow. I mean, do you feel <laughs> like. Wow. I mean, I guess you. <laughs> I'm trying to get past <laughs> I know. You're doing so well. Go ahead. You're so good at it. Go ahead. Um. I haven't had a, well, I've experienced Ooh. a child that Ooh. was pregnant in middle school. I think okay, she was okay. an eighth grader. 
but she wasn't my student, but she was an eighth grader. Mm. So, um, okay. I just really think that parents need to have that conversation if they're not having a conversation because kids are doing what they want oh, they to do. do it. So, you better mm. pay attention, you better get on board. I don't want nobody to be a nano. <laughs> I'm too young and too cute to be somebody grandma right now. But I will say this. When did it change when I don't like when I was in middle school and high school, if when girls like when girls got pregnant, it was like a shock. Yeah. Like, oh my like and that I, I mean, you but know, I just pregnancy has gone down tremendously. Has it? Or are we just giving contraceptives a lot sooner? I think, I think it's they, it's you know, I don't down. know the statistics, but I I don't think girls are Wanting to get pregnant. They I mean, don't. But, you know, okay, that's true. I don't think girls now, you know, wanting to get pregnant like that's that. That's actually true. Have sex. Yes, but you know, but that's actually true they, um, that a lot of that women are not wanting to have kids anymore. And then, and the thing of it is, we had, when I was in school, we had all this Planned Parenthood, <laughs> you know. And now they're trying to ban it. Right. They had the class <laughs> where they talk, talk about yeah, the they still had it. They still had it. It's, it's weird but now. We like had girls had that were getting pregnant yes, at school. Yes, but they would disappear. I they mean, there wasn't a lot of people that had disappear. I mean, you had. Really? In my, L, in my high, high school graduating class, I probably had about two of my classmates that had a baby. Really? Yeah, me too. So, in my in in my I, graduating class. So in my graduating class, I knew of two, th two or three girls that quote unquote disappeared when they got pregnant, and I know one girl that graduated pregnant, and I knew a lot of girls that got abortions. Okay. Mm -hmm. But it wasn't like oh, I mean, it happened. It I mean, does. Happen. I, you know, again, I was you know from the country, so. Yeah, it's like, oh, you know, she's young, she's pregnant, but, you know, then again, when my mother had me, she was 20 years old, so I think those things were, they were happening, but it wasn't mm -hmm. too crazy. Mm -hmm. As for now, you know, it feels more is, or, I, I think so, but I don't, I still don't think children are having babies mm -hmm. like at one point they was but no, they I, yeah. I have, but there is uh, more high, sex have, yeah have. they definitely right and that's what it says here they said the the birth rate has gone down 75 percent from 1991. wow so maybe that's why we're trying uh, to ban abortions and right Planned parenthood because, because the birth people. rates are different um but i remember in seventh grade there was a girl that was pregnant in my class and it was just like oh she's pregnant Seventh grade. Seventh grade. Seventh grade. Seventh grade. Seventh, how old are you? 13? 12, 13? And stuff? She was pregnant in the seventh grade. I could grade. not imagine. Your body's not even mature. It's not. No. Like, you, you know, mentioned in another pregnant. episode about how your frontal good. lobe is still developing, yeah. like, well into your 20s. Well, so could I you like imagine? You. I really didn't. You did <laughs> mention that. No, I didn't hear what you said. You're not even washing good. <laughs> <laughs> you said, you said I have to remind you front to back, not back to front. Like my girlfriend said, you gotta hit about. Yeah. Well. Okay, so since we're talking about. Hit about 10 times. Teen, teen health. Let's talk what about. Call it? I guess what we're gonna call this episode. Teen health. <laughs> She's not even talking about teen sex. Teen health. Teen sex. Hygiene. From 11 to. Like teen hygiene. Like hygiene is very They're important terrible. in middle school. In middle schools, a middle schoolers across the and board school, for the most yeah, in high school girls, for the most part their hygiene is just trash is what bad. is that now they're not bathing some of them are not washing at all for, to school and wash their let me tell you <laughs> okay i know we were talking about this the uh, off, episode, off camera but the pajamas yeah. thing it makes me so i know like for me you're not going nowhere at my house with your pajamas on however they let the bugs roll but i feel them. like to me it doesn't that look like you're not clean if you like if you get out you of bed and go to taught, school you didn't wash but you have to teach a child how to wash their private clothes. yes when they're a child but they're they're not they're a little child like my kids been know. washing good since they were funny you gotta but, actually get that yeah you gotta get towel soapy yeah soap and warm get that dove <laughs> <laughs> you gotta wash we need to do a demonstration <laughs> 
You need a washcloth. <laughs> and you I know, know, I know some of us don't believe in washcloths. You cloth, have to clean. You're, you're a, a young washcloth. lady. You're yeah. young, especially for young girls that are starting to menstruate early. Oh, and my God. Fifth, fourth, and fifth grade. My God. You it's have to crazy. wash. Yeah. And we've had these conversations, um, you know, with with students. I know, Joy, you brought somebody to my class before. Um mm -hmm in the past mm -hmm. and had me in the past mm -hmm. to have a conversation uh, with a certain certain isn't that terrible we gotta do that well, we gotta do all that <laughs> but, um, <laughs> and, and I'm you know and I'm big on hair and so yeah. um, Not me in one of my schools you know we you know everybody had a part that they mm -hmm. went over with the kids and my fault yeah. was the hair and i bought hair products mm -hmm. um you know for some some kids and some parents don't know you know that we got to try stuff to see see what works mm -hmm. yeah. so if i got things that are extra at the house like you know body yeah. lotion no body green. sprays Grants. and we do that anyway we make sure uh different stuff to school Okay, we gonna cut this part out. <laughs> I'm messing with our producer. <laughs> but we bring yeah, those items to make sure that uh. To listen, to listen. He has, he got kids. He know them. Your kids went to public school. God tell the truth. Yes. Oh yeah, so they did, huh? So you, girls. Are, so you know all about us. Oh, I had no girls. Okay, tell us about these girls. And um, early on. Like you said, mm -hmm. it was a conversation okay. with, with mama. I, it's not something. What I always tell them as a dad is like when I come to hug them, you gotta smell like a female. So put a little yeah. something on you. Uh huh. You know, yeah. sometimes they do everything, but then they just smell like their clothes or whatever. But I always mm -hmm. say, you ain't smell like nothing. I want, oh, I want a feminine smell. smell. Yeah. Yeah, I like that for, as a man. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So yeah. for what mama did, mama made sure that the other parts that you guys are talking about, mm -hmm. she did that at a young age. Oh, so, see, she that's came not, how old? When you say seven young age, sisters. how old? She had seven sisters. Okay. Oh, wow. And she's the second to last of seven sisters. Oh, okay. Wow. So she got to be into got, her. Okay. So she did it with them. How old? When you say young how old would when you, when you say you have the conversation? Mm -hmm. You start Eight. like kind of hinting at do these things. Eight. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Elementary yeah. school. Yeah. Elementary that's school. about right. Good. Yeah. Good, good job. job. Yeah. Go, <laughs> oh, super but dad. Super mom. That's thing. important. With um with health classes, they don't really go into detail no, about don't. the health for young girls because mm -hmm. the teachers don't really understand. Like for example, mm -hmm. if you have a young girl and she's menstruating for seven, ten mm -hmm. days, that is not normal. Not at, not at elementary school or even or not school. at all. Because seven days, really? Seven, ten days, that's not normal. I was told five to seven is normal. That's not normal. It takes about 48 hours for an unfertilized egg to break down in the uterus. How long did it come out, though? To 48 hours because oh. everything else, remember. I'm going back to my guy. The vagina. <laughs> And your gynecologist might tell you something else. Because she told we, me five to seven. I'm look, mad. We've been so used to yeah. thinking that we're supposed to bleed. Right. I'm trying to figure out. That's, right. to that. so that's two hemorrhaging days? at that two, three days, four days max. No, For I real? You're, 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 um. No, I'll be tired. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're hemorrhaging at that point. Really? Your, your vagina is in office. It's, it's, a, it's, it's cleansing. Okay. In the that's womb, true. it holds. Emotion, yeah. it holds your sexual partner, yeah. Yeah. it holds That's trauma, true. it holds yeah. all the, the, the trash that you've been eating throughout the, hey, the, don't the, talk about the, the month. A lot of trauma. So when you're mm -hmm. menstruating, that's your body's opportunity to purge. So, okay. you know, hopefully, you know, your child isn't having sex at that age, but maybe the diet is off. Maybe they're not getting the nutrients that they need. Women need iron, zinc, vitamin yeah. D, mm -hmm. you know, because we're menstruating, we're, we're producing yeah. eggs. So... You know, if you're a parent, um, of course, maybe you're sending your child to the pediatrician. You know, look for other ways to um, supplement your child's health. Make sure they're getting mm -hmm. a balanced diet. Mm -hmm. yeah. If they are cramping and they're telling you, hey, I am in pain, mm -hmm. that is not normal. PMS, cramps, is not none normal. of that let's is Let's talk normal. about that because I know we're kind of getting into yeah. it, but let's talk about that because, you know, I have both, a boy and a girl. Mm -hmm. And when I, when I started teaching... I started noticing different responses to fe more specifically female students, but how we as teachers respond to them. And 
especially students of, co of color, mm -hmm. I noticed that even even people, other adults of, of color would do this, have the same kind of response. We would say things like, oh, it's fine. This is normal. If you're in pain, it's normal. It's fine. Just do this. Just do that. Or can you make it? And I, and I, when I, one day when I found myself, my daughter used to want to check out on the first mm -hmm. day of her menses where she mm -hmm. would be like, okay, because she would get, she would vomit. Mm -hmm. I mean, her first day she would throw up mm -hmm. and it was just a whole ordeal. And my husband was like, I'm tired of picking you up from school. Like every month I got to pick you up from school. Like, come on now. Like women normal. have been doing this for thousands of years. Like we need to figure this out. Yeah. And it actually, I'm having that dialogue like like honest dialogue I was like dang maybe I shouldn't think like that because mm -hmm. just because that's not my body's response mm -hmm. doesn't mean that's not her body's response yeah. and to take her seriously and because I had that like, I feel like you got to be reflective you got to really challenge what you're calling normal yeah. mm -hmm. and then because some kids do have it worse and you mm -hmm. never know if that yeah. student is someone who has endometriosis because a lot of us don't because I will tell you this mm -hmm. I found out from the gynecologist they don't even normal. want your daughters there until they become active meaning They've been menstruating for however See, long, and no one has seen about them. And it's the food. It's oh, the food. yeah. That, 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 that McDonald's, that fried food. Listen, the tacky, that's up a boy, that tacky, that styrofoam, that coating in food. And, and a lot of the ingredients that we eat aren't even, like, they're banned in other countries. Yes. I was telling my and kids every, like that. every woman is different. Every yeah. young girl is different. But it's the food. Like, yeah, the uterus needs sure. magnesium. Yep. It's a muscle. And if it cannot contract, mm -hmm. it's going to struggle. You gotta yep. change. Your diet. your diet. You have to change your diet. But see, it's, it's these vitamin terms, you know, that a lot of us don't understand. We have um, instruction manuals for cars, our refrigerator, mm -hmm. but we don't know how our bodies work. Mm -hmm. So really going back to the, ec the educational system, there are certain teachers that are only taught, okay, talk about the vagina, talk about the penis. We're only allowed talk to. Talk about cannabis, oh, talk about birth control, like <laughs> penis, vagina. Ovaries. And, <laughs> but you know, they don't even, in some cases, some, some they don't even watch don't even the, baby, the, the baby No, they, you cannot watch anymore. the birthing video anymore. No, not in they public don't. school. Let me tell you something. That's, that's what I'm saying. I was, we were, we were, I think our generation <laughs> was probably the last people to watch. The birthing video. Baby, that whole hour long video. The they baby and they <laughs> that thing it's, was coming out like. It starts. I mean, I don't want to see that either. But. I didn't either, but. But it's being I was like, uh, -uh I don't want no kids. Uh -uh. The, the school system as a whole, it's just we got. Stopped. You have to. You you you. Listen, the, the school system is ran by the state. It's just, there's so many different parts yeah. to it. So as a parent, you think, okay, I'm going to send my child to school because I have to work. They're just, a lot of parents don't have time to. That's not an excuse. I'm just, can I finish rolling? Sorry, I'm sorry. A lot of parents don't. <laughs> a lot of parents, I mean, a lot of parents don't have the time. <laughs> it's It's coming. <laughs> A lot of parents don't have the time to teach mm -hmm. their kids because either they don't know or they're working. Mm -hmm. But, you know, if you don't know what you need to know, you don't know yeah. what to look for. Sure. So if you think that, okay, my mm -hmm. child is in pain, this is normal, you won't think to research, yeah. okay, well, how do I fix it? Because you have to understand there's a problem mm -hmm. with that. That's okay. So let's, I guess, think through it, right? Okay. So with, with kids, <laughs> you need to know what's going on. You need to know. What your children are into, what they talk, what they're texting about. Don't be afraid to look at their phone. They don't pay any bills. That's right. That's it. Don't be afraid to be that parent because I was that parent. I told my daughter from the jump, mm -hmm. you do not pay any bills. You are renting your room. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. So that means don't lock no door in my house. Here we mm -hmm. go. Oof. Yes, I, 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 I never like, locked any door. Like when I was, are you crazy? Like, I don't like closed doors. I need to house. come in. Yeah, I never even had a door closed. I don't. Do I mean, you know, if I changed or something was in the bathroom, yeah. but just to close my door, just to, mm -hmm. oh my god, that's do, th so kids think the data. Data. and things that you know, <laughs> you know, if there were some things that I did find in my daughter's phone, mm -hmm. um, we were able to, you know, able talk. to talk about mm -hmm. it, and that's you good. need to be able to have these conversations with your children because. Yeah. You don't want no one else teaching them. You know what I'm saying? You need to be able to have these conversations um, because it's a lot going on. Your child is not the only child that's mm -hmm. in school. Mm -hmm. And so little little Becky, little little Susan, you know, mm -hmm. 
Everybody, really everybody's raised different, so that's true. You gotta make sure that you know you're teaching your child how to take care of their bodies, how to take care of their mm -hmm. mind, their emotions. Yeah. Um, make sure that they're washing. You know, come with clean, clean. You know, uh, we know that circumstances are different. Yeah, but we could take a bath at the middle. At least, at least, at least a whole bath. We were doing so well. That's what they call what you call it. All right, guys. Why you call so, it? I don't call it a. Uh, uh, oh. At least a whole. You can catch us on. At Real <laughs> Teachers of Atlanta on Tenet, YouTube, so. Instagram, TikTok. Um, I think that's it. That's still about bike. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so this is done. Make sure I that you like finished. and subscribe, please. It does not take anything to <laughs> hit that like button. Um, and. <laughs> We're out. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs> Did you hear this whole